welcome to this tutorial on Canva for desktop. We'll be using canva.com to create some designs for Instagram stories. We know that you can create Instagram stories natively within Instagram and that's definitely a great option. But Canva also offers you some great possibilities. So make sure you've created your account and I'm gonna go ahead and click up here on create a design. I'm gonna go through and select Instagram story. As we can see here, there's many templates that we can possibly choose from, or we can just start with a blank template, uh, a blank canvas. I'm actually gonna go through and see if maybe there is some type of template that I want to use. I'm gonna try actually this newsroom Instagram story. I'm gonna click on it and we can see um, our template is automatically created. We're gonna go through some of the features of Instagram and look at how we can customize our content. We can see here that with any of these elements, I can just double click to edit. So we can see here, I can change the text if I need to. I can click on this picture and change it. And I can also change the color of different elements here if I need to. So I definitely would wanna customize these. You don't need to use them as is. In fact, we want you to add as many creative elements that are your own and speak to your content and brand as possible. So let's take a tour through some more features of Canva. We can see here on the left side, there are a lot of different options for us and we want to go through these. We first have our templates, as you can see here, and we can see as well, we can add um, pages to our Instagram stories here. If I click on add page, add page, I can actually create my entire Instagram stories right here in Canva if I wanted to. Of course, I can bring that into Instagram and add even more features from Instagram. Here on the left side, we see we have uploads, so we can bring in uploads here, our own pictures, logos, um, photography, and things like that. We also have um, photos that are available from Canva, and some of these are free. You can see some of these have a little pro icon and those you need to pay for. Um, for your projects, many times, especially as journalists, we'll be using a lot of our own photos or videos. Next, we also have elements. So there might be stickers here. We have lines. We have shapes, um, animated stickers here that can add to your piece, charts, grids, gradients, um, and other symbols here that you might want to choose from. And this will, of course, depend on what your story is about. So I can definitely layer things in, you know, it really depends again. I'm gonna go back to photos here and search for something related to fall. Um, it really does depend on what we're creating and, you know, how we want to customize it, what our content is. Those are decisions we want to make. We wanna make sure we're choosing what is appropriate for our piece. And we can see here, we also wanna make sure we have, you know, things like good contrast, um, you know, perhaps I'm going to start choosing palettes from some of my photos, color palettes from some of my photos, and things like that. So those are some things that we might just think about as we move forward and design our Instagram stories. So these elements, again, have drawings, um, stickers, lines, and shapes. We can also, of course, add text. There's kind of customized text that we can add. And then there's also headings and subheadings and body text that we can add. And we could simply click on these to add these to our pieces. Welcome to fall. And I can change the color up here if I want to, to create a little bit more contrast. I can change the font if I want to as well. And I can also go in and change the size. Maybe that's just way too big for me and I want to change this. I'm gonna delete that element. Again, it's basically just click and drag. We wanna make sure you know there's consistency in our design. We wanna be creative too. You can definitely do that, but we wanna make sure we're consistent. There's music that you can add here as well. You can add your own videos here. So um, 
or you can find videos here. You would want to add your videos actually under uploads. So you can find videos here if you want to add something animated. There are lots of different backgrounds here as well. It can be really nice. We can't see it because it just went behind everything, but you would just click on it if you had um, some type of background that you were showing, and then you can apply that. And then there's also some folders here. So that is everything on the left side that you can choose to create your Instagram stories. Um, we also see at the top, there's some effects that we have. There's filters that we can um, play with, just like in Instagram. Um, there's adjustments for color, brightness, contrast, etc. There's a crop tool here. I'm going to click done, um, flip, etc. So this menu at the top actually changes based on what we have selected. So if I have text selected, you can see I can change the font, I can change the size, the alignment here. Um, I can change the color, uh, I can add bullets, I can add spacing effects here if I want to, like if I want to add a little drop shadow or something like that. So that menu at the top is going to change based on what I have selected. You can see here I just selected some of this artwork so I can adjust some of the colors, I can crop or flip it. Also position, so if I want to put it behind an element or in front of an element, that is there as well. I'm going to click on it again. Um, you can copy the style of that. And we can also look at transparency here. So that's something we might want to adjust and things like that. Um, I'm going to select the background now. And once again, you can see we can go in and choose different colors if we want to. So there's also, if you're not clicked on anything, there's also an animate feature. So I can, you know, sort of bring this content in if I want to or fade it in. So those are some of the things that we can also look at. That is a really, really quick tour of Canva. Some of the tools on the side here, some of the options up here at the top here. Notice that we can duplicate pages. We can throw pages away if we want to. But this is just one tool you might consider using to create Instagram stories. When you're done with your design, notice here you can download it, you can play it back and preview it, and there's a lot more options if you click on the three dots there, if you wanted to present it, um, put it in your Google Drive, etc. So that's a quick tour of Canva and creating designs for Instagram stories.